Welcome back to another Acti Analysis Finding Meters, and today I'm going to take a look at the movie Motherless Brooklyn. And before I look at the sequences, hello, my name is JD and I have a channel that talks about Acti Analysis Finding Meters. I do lectures, I do rig reviews, product reviews, animation feedback, animation news, all kinds of things. So if you don't want to miss any of these, feel free to subscribe, hit that bell button. And now let's get to the sequences. It's a long movie, really nice atmosphere. I was a big fan of it. Picked out little things here and there. It's going to be a short one, but I like those little bits and pieces that you might be able to put into your shots. So let's check it out as always. First up, he is going to this building here and he walks in. Actually, this is not what I want to talk about but I also kind of like this little pause. And then that just as, as, a, as a mechanical thing where you do your kind of walk cycle, stop, address what's going on in front of you, and then continue. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is this. I really like this entrance as he gets to the window, waits a bit, looks, and then opens the door. Now he's very particular about certain moments, so he has to close this in a specific way, has to sound in a specific way, and then someone calls him and he has that reaction. It's great. But I want to look at this here. I love this idea that this might be somewhat translucent or not, but you can only see the eyes. And I love that pause and then the looks. And then as you open, this could be something for you where you then reveal something very specific, either about the rest of his face or about the body. I think this could be a really cool intro for a shot. I and mean, I feel like I'm going to use this in the near future for one of my shots where you come in and that's just a funny, just visual pantomime with the eyes that then goes into a full body reveal. This one is more about framing. I love the idea of this character coming in, A, also from a mechanical point of view of grabbing this. This is your weight assignment on a smaller scale. So he grabs the chair, pulls it in. But I love how we have this character in the background and you got your third character here. And as they sit down to look at things, you have that in the foreground and then you have this guy framed here in the back. And to me, this could be interesting where as a shot, I will use this where they might say something and discuss something that is very interesting, but that this person really wants to hear. And it could be something where as they do their business, and maybe they would then get blurry where the focus and the lens changes to this character. This character starts to get up potentially, arms down, really wants to lean forward and listen. And then they stop talking, look back, and he will go, oh, pfft, never mind, never mind. Let me just sit down. And then they turn back and continue talking, but then come together with their faces to kind of whisper, right? So then you have kind of a lean in the body, but also visually it would then you know, hide this character because the faces get together. Like this is what I would extrapolate from this. I like the idea of this three character setup, this character in the background. And what I just said, this is what I would take from that. They do something, he or she wants to listen, leans forward, stops them. They realize that this person is snooping in here and then they stop, come together and then visually get closer with their faces. So they visually hide this character. Which as always, this is kind of the idea and the purpose of these clips. It's not, oh, let's look at the actor's moment and kind of how they're in character. Like they're obviously doing a lot of really great stuff in terms of acting. I want to highlight the bits and pieces where you can take an idea, a setup, a staging idea or an interaction with the prop and but take the idea and then expand on that so that you can use that in your shot. So it's not copying what this, what's going on in here, but taking an idea and then building on top of it. And this is why I love analyzing this, but let's continue, there's one more. Next up is this where he grabs the gum. He's listening to the conversation with these and he knows he might get somewhat upset and this is something to calm him down in the movie. But what I want to highlight is that as he takes this and breaks it up, just for a moment, <laughs> I love this. It's so short, but it's so him. He's very picky about certain things and this needs to be the exact same half. That was an awesome scribble. I can't even do that here. And he just checks quickly and it's okay. And that's enough for him to now use it. And this could just be something when you do this shot where you just break it and then put it in his mouth. But I love that little moment. It's very character specific. It has to be right and then sit. But it's not a, a huge moment. It doesn't weigh it and we don't spend a minute on this. It, I like that this is just short and sweet. But throughout the movie, that's just something that he does. And it's very consistent for his character. And this is why I like handling props because it gives you like an extra window to your character. How does he use the gum? How does he put it in? Maybe he puts it sideways. Like whatever you want to do with the gum tells us something more about the character. And I think you can add an extra layer to your performances like that. Speaking of layer, if you want to add an extra layer to your work, you can sign up for my workshops and we can work together and I can help you make your shots even more awesome. As always, link in the description with all the information you can sign up 
up at any time. Workshops are open. And even though this was on the shorter side, if you're still watching, I highly appreciate it. Thank you for your time. And if you don't want to miss any of those uploads, of course, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get all the notifications I upload every day except weekends. And that's it for me. I will see you tomorrow for my next upload.